After searching for recorded audio or video, you may export it to your workstation or burn it to CD or DVD disc. To begin, move the playback scrub bar to the point on the timeline where you'd like your exported clip to start. You may then press the Mark Start button above the timeline or right-click on the timeline or video panel to select Mark Start from the option menu. Move the scrub bar to the point on the timeline where you'd like the exported clip to end and select the Mark Stop button or right-click to select Mark Stop from the option menu. To export and save the selected video to your machine, choose the Download and Export Video button above the timeline. Right-click the timeline and select Download and Export Video or choose the Download and Export button from the topmost toolbar in the client window. In the window that appears, select the destination for export and edit the file name. Note that if the ExactVision client is run without system administrator privileges, users will be presented with limited options for exporting. When running the ExactVision client with administrator privileges, users may choose from any location on the system. When choosing to export video, you may select the exported file type. See our video on export file types and other documentation on the differences each file type option provides. When choosing to export as EXE or PSX, a window will appear allowing you to choose to encrypt the exported file with or without password protection, ensuring that only your intended recipient can view the exported file. Once a file has been exported, you may choose to burn the file to a CD or DVD disc. Be sure you have inserted an unused, writable CD or DVD into the drive. Select the Burn Saved Files to CD or DVD button from the topmost toolbar to display the Burn Disk dialog window. Edit the disk name to your choosing and select the media from the Writing Device drop-down menu. Next, select the file or files from the Available Files panel. The disk capacity and usage will be displayed at the bottom of the window. Select the Burn Disk button. Select any burn options presented and continue. Depending on the options selected, you may allow several minutes for burning to complete.